Happening right now, Democrats under Georgia's Gold Dome say they are frustrated with Governor Brian Kemp's Medicaid plan. A program to help 300,000 Georgians has only 1,300 people signed up. Our State House reporter Abby Kosoris spoke with lawmakers who are calling for a complete overhaul of the system. Nearly four months after launching the program, the response has been called underwhelming. Democrats say the program is too confusing and it takes too long to get benefits. Kathy Johnson is one of roughly three million Georgians who rely on Medicaid. Call in, call in system the way they have it set up, that is blocking people from getting access to Medicaid. When asked about the state's Medicaid program, she says it, it's not working. Democrat state lawmakers Senator Gloria Butler and Representative Sam Park feel the complicated system needs a total overhaul. Let's end the governor's failed experiment and expand Medicaid. The Pathways program is one of Governor Kemp's key priorities. A full expansion of Medicaid costs too much. Georgians who make $14,000 or less annually can apply. The Democrat lawmakers pushing for the change say work requirements and red tape leave 1.4 million Georgians without insurance, uncovered and unsafe. I think that would be a great question for the governor and his administration as to whether or not they're, they think 1,300 people enrolled in the first three to four months is acceptable. A spokesperson from Governor Kemp's office did respond to some of the claims from the press conference today, saying, quote, Governor Kemp's policies have led to over 600,000 Georgians gaining health insurance through the reinsurance program, expanded Medicaid for new mothers, and brought innovation to the Medicaid program through the only waiver granted in the entire country. Meanwhile, the Democrats' proposal would kick over 200,000 Georgians off private health insurance. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Kosoris.